అనుకోండి It was such a beautiful story to see, love between two young people who speak so well, uh, you know, it was such a joy for the whole country. So literally everybody was either on television or on the internet keeping up to date with the royal wedding. So that is how I missed making, <laughs> that's why I missed making our episode because I promised you that I'll make an episode every Saturday since Saturday is actually the official Sabbath. Um, so, let me just catch you up. <laughs> then hopefully you guys can catch me up as well. What you've, been, what you've been up to, you can tell me what you've been up to, what your week was like. Just let me know in the comment section below. So, Friday was the Hillsong concert and oh my goodness, it was really, 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 really nice. The, uh, the environment was really electric. You know, like seeing so many young people on fire for God, worshiping God in spirit and in truth. It was truly, 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 truly wonderful. Then the wedding, the royal wedding. Uh, the royal wedding was for the king of Busoga Kingdom. For our non-Ugandan audience, um, Uganda is made up of several tribes. And uh, they all have their unique set of uh, traditions. So in Busoga, they have a king and he was taking a wife. So Busoga is in eastern Uganda. It's located east of uh, the Nile. So if you love and have responsibilities by River Nile, then that means you are actually in the kingdom of Busoga. So the wedding was truly, truly, truly beautiful. Congratulations to the Isebantu and the Inebantu of Busoga. So now, Back to our faithful Sabbath. On um, a Friday at the concert, I was looking at all these young people so on fire for Jesus, and I was truly, truly, truly uplifted in the spirit. You know, young people really have a huge um, passion for Christ, and uh, as youth, many of them are drawn to music. So, Hillsong is one of uh, those productions that most youthful um, Christians usually associate with. So you'd see them totally, totally covered in the spirit. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Perhaps I'll make a video about it, yeah? So while I was there, um, I've been asking myself all week long what I will share in Faithful Sabbath, episode two. <laughs> so I was, in, I was inquiring of the Lord. I was like, Lord, what should I talk to, what should I talk to your children about this week? Guide me. Yeah, so on Friday, watching all those Christians worshiping God in spirit and truth, um, the Lord revealed to me that I should talk about uh, Christianity and worshiping God in spirit and in truth. So our Bible study today is about the story of the Beatitudes. Um, let me just check real quick where it's located, where it's located in the Bible, because um, I always use a print Bible. Yeah, so... Um, you know how your phone can have all kinds of um, things? So that's why I prefer to use a printed Bible. So let me just quickly find that scripture and share with you guys. Yeah, I'm back. The Bible reading is about the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes are uh, several practices that as a Christian you should partake of if you are a true Christian, uh, worshiping Christ Jesus. And um, different um, beatitudes equate to different activities. So we're just going to read that together so that you can make sure that it's really in the Word of God. We should be in the habit of uh, making sure that uh, the people who are teaching us about Christianity actually get uh, their philosophies from the Word of God, right? Yeah, that way you'll be able to avoid um, false prophets and, you know, 
people are trying to push the gospel for their own personal gain. So, the Beatitudes. Right. The reason why I prefer to use a printed Bible as opposed, as opposed to an online Bible is mostly because, um, you know, the internet, on uh, social media pages like WhatsApp and whatnot, people send all kinds of forwards, you know, and I feel like a lot of good has no, has no business sitting right next to those kinds of things. And then also, the reason why I really, really like the King James Version is because um, it's the closest translation to Hebrew. And uh, the reason why I like um, older versions of the Bible is because um, previously society was not so corrupted. So um, they hadn't corrupted the word, they hadn't um, corrupted the word of God. So this is why I always try to use the New King James Version. So today we are learning about the Beatitudes. Let's all turn. I hope you all have your Bibles today. <laughs> you can press pause over here. And go grab your Bible, subscribe, now is a good time to press that button. So, let's dig right in. Uh, the Beatitudes are in Matthew 5, verse 3 to 10. Let's get there. Remember, Matthew is the first book of the New Testament. guys have reached as well, I will just read for all of us. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 10. It goes, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Sorry about that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 10. I hope we're all there. I'll just read for all of us here. Yeah? Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 10. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Glory. Uh, <laughs> okay. We should start recording now. <laughs> Sound <proof> room. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, um, the Beatitudes. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 10. And it says, in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Another verse that we can read to teach us more about the Beatitudes is Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Luke is the third book in the New Testament. Just after Mark. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. I'll just read for all of us. It says, Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast, and cast out your name as evil. For the Son of Man's sake. Sorry, I'll just read that again. Blessed are, blessed are you. Sorry, Luke chapter 6, verse 20 to 23. The title here says Beatitudes. It says, Then he lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, This is Jesus. Blessed are you, blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you. Who hunger, who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil. For the sake of man's sake, 
Rejoice in that day and live for joy. For indeed your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. This word is really encouraging, right? Um, you know, as you walk the, uh, as you walk the Christian journey, as you walk the Christian journey, many times you'll be ridiculed for your value system in Christ, right? Um, many times you'll be called uncool, <laughs> you know, or many times you'll be called as they say in as they say in Uganda, oluna olugezi gezi. Meaning, directly translated, you are a little bit big-headed. So, let us be encouraged. As long as we are doing God's work, as long as we are acting like Christ taught us to act, it doesn't really matter what all kinds of comments will be piled upon your head, because the Lord teaches us here that it's to be expected. So, as we expect this, may we try to stand firm in the Word of God for each uh, the first section of each verse describes the activity and the second section of each uh, of each verse describes the benefit yeah uh, you know sometimes people think um, people say like um, many of these new churches are usually packed to capacity and um, they claim to they claim to be able to answer all the requests that the congregation has but many times, many of the congregation are actually going through all, all manner of trials and tribulations and challenges, for example, with finances and things like that. So people in main, uh, mainstream society look at them and wonder, like, why are you following Christ if you're still going to struggle? But here, in uh, verse 20 of Luke, we see that he says, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall have food. So we see that each verse, the beginning, is about what you should expect. And the, uh, the second part of each verse teaches us what the benefit is all about. So may we all be encouraged as we go ahead to study the Beatitudes and live an active Christian life, giving glory to God all through everything, the good times and the bad. Thank you so much for your time, guys. See you next week. A good is a no no no. A grateful Sabbath, we say. Love and blessings. Thanks for coming guys. <laughs>